con artist. Everybody's a con artist. Everybody's a con. Everybody cons cons. The con. Everybody has a con. Everybody cons cons. That, that's normal. You get up in the morning, you con somebody. I'm selling you my pepperoni. It's better than the other guy. So I'm conning you. Who is that man behind the mask? Who's the man that gets on top of the DC-8? Who's the man that's going to try and double and a half the world's record on a motorcycle? No one will ever know. The human fly made his debut on top of this DC-8 jet at a California air show last June. After surviving the 230 mile per hour ride, he claimed to be the greatest daredevil who ever lived. Oh yeah, I was on top of the world. But the human fly is more than that. He's the core of a five year marketing plan which is supposed to have him crossing the English Channel, clinging to the side of a rocket, and then diving from the top of Toronto's CN Tower into 20 feet of water. You say you're going to do something in life, you, you talk about it, you shout your mouth and then at the end you don't do nothing, so we had done it. You know, to tell people you're going to do something is one thing. To do it is another thing, you know. I used to do everything by hand. Again? Yeah. Now it's done by machine, you know. I could do this blindly. I could actually be sleeping and do it. On the surface, there may not be much in common between a factory making pepperoni and death-defying acts. But here in Montreal, it all comes together at Roma Foods. Roma is a family business now in the hands of the Ramachiri brothers, Joseph and Dominic. It's a good business, but sausage making lacks a certain glamour, excitement. They raised $200,000, mainly from pepperoni profits, to form Human Fly Spectaculars Limited. I was about 13 years old, you know? And when I was making, when I was making the sausages, me and my brother, our hands would freeze from the morning to night, you know? So I was always telling my brothers, you know, I gotta, we gotta find, I gotta find something, you know, I gotta find something, you know. Uh, when I was young, I was playing music, you know. Yeah. So I would go to my course, and uh, after a while, the teacher would start hitting me on the hands, you know. Yeah. So one week, two weeks, three weeks, by the fifth week, I was tired. The guy was hitting me on my hands, so I went to my parents and said, forget about this shit, you know. <laughs> my, my dad told me 10 years after, he paid the teacher to hit me. Because they figured out I was going to end up in nightclubs instead of making pepperoni. To us, it was our ticket to ride. I mean, the plane, the people there, everybody started to believe. Everybody. Uh, he uh, is actually being referred to as the uh, bionic man with a charitable heart. 60% of the fly's body was remolded from steel after it was crushed in a tragic car crash five years ago. Through the long ordeal, the fly vowed to commit his spared life and the bulk of his earnings to helping sick children. Yeah, I thought the guy was a con man anyways, you know? I mean, I thought that this guy was bullshitter all the way. It just came up at one point and we said, and my daughter said, what happens if we put a suit on the guy? Yeah, that's great, you know? At least uh, if he does do the job, we'll just throw him in the lake and use somebody else. You want to talk about what's happening <laughs> Right, actually at this time, I believe that this is in uh, Dallas. This is the last stunt that I did uh, where I was hospitalized over a month and a half. Uh, I received uh, first degree burns over the lower extremity of my body. I was flying at 5,000 feet at 262 miles per hour. Five miles from the show, the plane hits rain, and Captain Lacey turns back to protect the fly from the high speed drops. The human fly comes back to Dallas, his performance before the crowd aborted. On the ride home, he fainted from the pain inflicted by the raindrops. What happens if you kill him, though? Would that uh, improve the business or uh, be a disaster? Personally, uh, financially, I don't think it would do, uh, do us harm. It sounded so outrageous, you know? 13 buses, 26 buses. Baby, we kill it. We, we did this stuff in the air. Now we destroy evil can evil. We're the, we're, the, we're the ones. We're the ones, you know? I want to show you a bit of film. Because the night after the human fly appeared on 90 Minutes Live. He went to Olympic Stadium in Montreal and before a crowd, as you'll see in a film we'll show you in just a moment, of not very many people, he tried to jump on a motorcycle over 26 buses. Now here's what happened that night in Montreal. <laughs> I want to be
biggest thing in life is to accept failing. Failing in school, failing with your life, failing with your life. You have to accept it. failing. If I could save this moment, the last time with you, a very, very special moment that make dreams come true. Getting better, better than before. I didn't, I didn't miss the boat in my life. You know? I have a great life. I have a family, grandchildren. A crazy guy like me, you know. <laughs> you know. Do you want me, baby? Like I want you. It's been a long, long time. In my mind Show me a reason Give me a reason Make me a reason to live